Rocketry units of the Russian Army recently practiced mass bombardment with their upgraded BM-21 Grad multiple launch rocket system MLRS. Russian Army drills in the Eastern Military District focused on specific tactics. During the exercise, they demonstrated the ability to quickly fire and relocate it so the enemy is not able to target them with counterfire. According to Krasnaya Zvezda, which shared a video on the training, the BM-21 Grad MLRS systems use the Strelitz C-4 ISR or Command, Control, Communications, Computers, Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance system for the first time to quickly calculate and coordinate their fires at the Amur training ground. They fired on targets at which were around 25 kilometers or 15.5 miles away. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why BM-21 Grad is now a much more feared weapon because of new enhancement and tactics. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The BM-21 Grad is a Soviet truck-mounted 122mm multiple rocket launcher. The weapon systems and the M-21OF rocket were first developed in the early 1960s and saw their first combat use in March 1969 during the Sino-Soviet border conflict. The launch vehicle consists of a Ural 375D 6x6 truck chassis fitted with a bank of 40 launch tubes arranged in a rectangular shape that can be turned away from the unprotected cab. The vehicle is powered by a water-cooled V8 180 horsepower gasoline engine, has a maximum road speed of 75 km per hour or 47 miles per hour, road range of up to 750 km or 470 miles. The system has three crews and it can be made ready for engagement in three minutes. The crew can fire the rockets from the cab or from a trigger at the end of a 64-meter foot cable. All 40 rockets can be launched in as little as 20 seconds, but can also be fired individually or in small groups in several second intervals. A PG-1M panoramic telescope with a K-1 collimator can be used for sighting. The BM-21 can be packed up and ready to move in about two minutes which can be necessary when engaged by counter-battery fire. Reloading is done manually and takes about 10 minutes. Each 2.87-meter rocket is slowly spun by rifling in its tube as it exits, which along with its primary fin stabilization keeps it on course. These rockets are of many different variants. Rockets armed with high explosive fragmentation, incendiary or chemical weapons can be fired 20 kilometers or 12 miles. Newer high explosives and anti-cargo rockets have a range of 30 kilometers or 19 miles and more. Warheads weigh around 20 kilograms or 44 pounds depending on the type. The number of rockets that each vehicle is able to quickly bring to bear on an enemy target makes it a devastating weapon, especially at shorter ranges. One battalion of 18 launchers is able to deliver 720 rockets in a single volley. The system has lower precision than typical artillery and cannot be used in situations that call for pinpoint accuracy. It relies on a large number of shells dissipating over an area for a certain hit rate on specific targets. Nonetheless, because of the short warning time for the impact of the whole volley, the BM-21 is an effective weapon to suppress enemy positions. The addition of C-4 ISR will go a long way to enhance its efficiency. 
After firing their rockets, the BM-21 crews are moved quickly to reach a new position, and the enemy fire would soon be homing in on where they had launched their previous attack. The system is especially suitable for hit-and-run tactics, which are being optimized in current drills. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.